Hi everyone, I'm May Kay Beeler and we're here at Kent State University Flight School to find out how flight operators can save more money on their tires. Now here at Kent State, they operate a fleet of 24 aircraft, Cessna 172s, 152s, and Piper Seminoles, and needless to say, they are really tough on their tires. So. Today we're going to catch up with Joshua Iring. He is the manager of aircraft maintenance here at Kent State, and we're going to find out what the secrets are to saving more money on tires. Josh? Hi, Mike. Hi. Welcome. Thank you so much for being with us today. So what are the secrets for fleet operators to save money on their tires? Well, I figure that most fleet operators in flight schools think their tires are going to flat spot before they wear out, so they tend to go with the cheapest tire. However, here at Kent State University, we found that to be false economy. But don't you flat spot a lot of tires? We do have flat spotted tires, but if you look at the tire scrap pile at most flight schools, you'll find that those flat spotted tires were almost worn out anyway. So flat spots don't impact tire life? As long as the flat spot doesn't go below the base of the wear groove and there's no cord fabric showing, the tire is serviceable. So you don't use the cheapest tires? No, here at Kent State University, we use one of the higher end tires, the Goodyear Flight Custom 3. This tire is actually cheaper for us to operate in the long run. How's that? Well, this tire costs about twice as much as the competition's tire up front. And here at Kent State, we find that we get two to three times the tread life out of this tire. So now I've got aircraft with less downtime because the airplanes aren't in the hangar for tire changes. I save time on my labor costs. So I spend a little bit more money on the front end, but I save on the back end. So our job here is to keep the airplanes flying and not in the shop. So you really like the Flight Custom 3? Yes, because they're a long-lasting tire, they have better skid-through protection, and the Kevlar belt helps prevent FOD damage. So what sort of things do you do to get the maximum life out of your tires? Well, to maximize your tire life, proper inflation is key. Here at Kent State, we check our tire pressures daily and we follow all the recommended procedures in Goodyear Aviation's tire maintenance manual. We want to check our tire pressures when they're cool. Uh, we never want to check a tire pressure when it's warm. And when we mount a new tire, we allow for a 12 hour stretch time period. And we want to do everything we possibly can to reduce the chance of tire damage, I would think. Okay, that's correct. Actually, one of the biggest reasons we have to remove a tire from service early is for an object damage. Tires are under high pressure under a lot of stress when they're installed on the aircraft. So even though the object may not be sharp, it can still cut a tire. So we work closely with our maintenance staff here and our airport personnel to ensure that our ramps and hangar floors are clean of debris. You know, Josh, I've seen a lot of uneven tread wear on a lot of aircraft around my airport. What's up with that? That's correct. Uneven tread wear can really rob the tire of its useful life but there are some things we can do to extend the life of our tires and maximize our money. Uh, one thing that is critical is proper tire inflation. An underinflated tire will cause the tire to wear more rapidly at the tire shoulder, whereas an overinflated tire will cause the tire to wear more rapidly at the center of the tread. One thing that we can do at, from a maintenance standpoint is to ensure our landing gear are in proper alignment and also to extend our tire wear, some aircraft wear tires at an uneven rate. So what we do as a common practice is take the tires off the aircraft, dismount them from the wheels, reverse that tire on the wheel, and reinstall it on the aircraft. That way we maximize our dollars. And how pilots actually fly the aircraft can make a huge difference. That's correct. Here at Kent State, we teach our students to land at the slowest practical speed. They don't need to make the first turn off. And high speed braking and sharp cornering can really affect tire life. Thanks, Josh. Great tips for any pilot or aircraft owner. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. I'm May Kay Beeler. You can find the answers to all of your aviation tire questions in Goodyear's Aircraft Tire Care and Maintenance Manual. Download it for free at www.goodyearaviation.com.